Bill, can you tell us uh, a little bit about yourself before we begin? Yeah, I'm Senior International Defence Editor of Aviation Week magazine. Um, responsible for some of the, um, not just the international defence content on the aviation side, but also um, to some extent non-aviation defence. And what's brought you here this week to International Fighter? Um, I was came here to talk about uh, the year in combat aviation, a few of the highlights. Um, as it happened, I came here directly from, the, from China, um, where I'd been covering the Zhuhai Air Show. And what struck you about the discussions we've had today in comparison perhaps to what you've seen out in China this past week? Well, I think that um, a, a lot of the discussion going on the last couple of days here has been about air power in general, not just hardware. I mean, there's been a bit of hardware discussion going on, but um, a lot about communications, command, doctrine, things like that. I mean, things that are very important. Um, where that connects with what I saw in Zhuhai is that the Chinese are, you know, seriously looking at a kind of asymmetrical strategies in air power. They're looking at a lot of, uh, a lot of rocket development, a lot of missile development, um, systems of systems, um, some of which aren't even air airborne. But, um, the, you know, for example, ground mobile, ground mobile weapons used as access to, um, as area denial, um, anti-access systems. And these developments, what do they mean for uh, Western forces in terms of uh, countering or keeping up with the, let's say, the changing threats? Um, you have to look very, very hard, very carefully at, you know, whether you're perhaps being too influenced by what you see in Chinese aircraft um, and not being influenced enough by um, some of those other threats. Um, because if you can't get into the area, if your tankers can't get in, if your ships can't get in, then you can't operate. And what do you see personally uh, from your sort of analytical mind uh, in, in terms of what we should be expecting for 2015 and beyond? I mean, 2015 we're going to have to look at changes in strategy in the US, there's a thing called third offset, which is very important. Um, I think internationally we're going to see more playing out of the of the fighter markets between um, the F-35 and its various um, in-service rivals and you know seeing more of how the Saab Gruppen is going to play in that business and um, that's been a you know a fast moving market over the last year. And just finally uh, what are your thoughts in general of this conference and has it helped you uh, fulfill your I suppose your ambitions uh, before you came in? Yeah it's been a very it's been a very lively conference um, very good energy and uh, well as very very good attendance excellent thank you very much for being here